Hello guys, this is uh, Kaiju that here, and Korean has brought up its new update, and there's a lot of talk about what to do with this character, Beth. Would you, would we, for global, would we skip the Gar Manor? Would you save? And I'd like to talk not much about this character, but more about the event that's coming, because that event also includes rewards for summoning on the banner and i believe this uh the rewards are much higher for summoning on that banner compared to the current rewards offered for gram so without further ado let's let's look at these news for the event and you would see if you want to save or would you uh, summon for a gram based on that <laughs> or it, you might look at the characters and based on that but So here we are. This is the new event that's coming. This is the Gacha Pool event. So what happens is um, you'll get daily missions to do, 13 daily missions each day. And those will be, uh, you'll get one token for each. And you'll also get 120 from the summons, 60 character and 60 weapon. So that brings you to total about, um, I believe, 300, 302. Uh, total tokens you have. So um, 30 10 summons or 302 1 summons you hit, pull on these gotcha uh, pulls. And these offer really great rewards, of course. <laughs> That's if you hit the jackpot. If you don't hit the jackpot, it, <laughs> you'll not get that huge, huge reward you might be looking for. But I still like to kind of analyze on which of these three is best for you to go for. So here are the three. One's the Hero Crystals and Gem. So you can see from here, the jackpot for each is 0.2% uh, for here crystal and 0.2% for free gems. But you might more focus on these smaller rewards and see how it goes, which it, it's not bad for how much you're getting. You get 10% for two here crystal, that's good. You don't, you don't have to haul that much evil dungeons <laughs> uh, anymore. And that's a pretty high chance to get two. And you can even get 10, which 1%. And two, five, two percent. This is all good rates. And free gem, free gem is always nice. And the rates are not that bad as well. Of course, um, for the smaller ones over here, you'll be getting EXP. Uh, the other one is gold and the other one is magic metal. So out of the three, probably the magic metal is the best. And then it's the gold and EXP. I believe EXP is the least of your worries later on, more it'd be gold for uh, random evolution later on. And that's like the end goal. But I believe this is probably the best banner to summon on because the secondary prize of gems, I believe outweighs for other secondary prizes they are offering for the rates and uh, what you're getting. And hero crystals is never a bad investment. You need those hero crystals for a uh, maximum break. You could also use them to purchase evil stones if that's your that's your thing, you wanna stop grinding that much, uh, or it's your first five-star character. If it's your first five-star character, I would say just drop the bit of hero crystals and try to finish her, because most of the time the five-star is very prominent compared to if she's just a four-star. The character is just a four-star. So this is my number one uh, prize list outfit. I believe the, the lower rates other than jackpot, offers great rates and you have high chance to hit more of these smaller rewards which will which can add up and if you hit these big rewards it's, it's great especially like if you need to finish that summon if you hit that 2700 bam 10 more tokens you could try to get more stuff from that it's which is always great the next one is probably another great one it's hard to really decide which is the top one is better or this one's better but this is the um, the mileage tickets and legendary stone one. And as you can see from down here, this is one that offers the go for um, for like a bitty reward. But the mileage is like 100 for 0.1%. And the chance is so low, but it, it's so good if you can actually get that. That's like one third of, uh, of you getting a pick for what you want. If that converts, you will have to summon um, 27,000 gems or 10,000 pay gems to get this amount of mileage tickets. So this is really good. But of course the rate is, is low. So you, you just have to be lucky. It's, it's hard to say, you just have to be lucky. But if you're lucky, this is probably the best one. But the thing is the secondary reward, I believe is a bit worse off compared to um, the gems offer for the hair crystal gem. 
capsule. You, you say, well, 10 is great, two is great, one is great. These are all great, right? But you have to remember, you can buy four for 300 gems uh, in the shop later on. So if you look at that, the reward is jumping down. So, uh, so if, if you get one divided by four, so this would actually just come around about 80 gems. I mean, still nice, still nice, but it's a, uh, 7%. And the max one is just 600 gems, which does not compare. Uh, uh, sorry, I misspoke, probably more around 800 gems. So it doesn't compare to 2,700 gems. Uh, it's all for, uh, up there for heroes and gems, uh, hero crystals and gems. So this is probably the thing holding it down. It, it, don't get me wrong, it's a great banner also to pull off, but you have to really hit this jackpot to make it worth it. It's, it's like if you want to gamble on this, this is probably the go big one. And it doesn't actually go broke. The, the last one is actually the go big, go broke, actually. And I don't actually really advise pulling the last one. The last one is the option stones and the hammer one. So you can get an epic camera. Epic cameras are very scarce. We only have one for, for like a month right now. Um, unless you're actually buying it for 1,500 metal, which is totally not for free to play players. But they're offering this and they're offering option stones. The other things is pretty much just hammers filling in. Like these are just easily farmable resources. So it's not even much to talk about. It's, um, it's really there is like a division, sorry, a diversion. And it's, it's just not good. And these things, you don't want to get any of these things because you can easily get it by just running resources, uh, rifts, or you can get it from Kalmazone after you get the stone. Like later on, you'll have enough, um, you'll have a lot of saved up uh, comic, uh, bottle caps from Kalmazone and you can use it to purchase the 25 hammers and you'll, you'll still be with, left with a lot of it. So this is, this is not like, anything you should worry about. So these are the things you can worry about. Of course, first of all, like you can buy one for 300. So like this is better value than for legendary stones. If you think about it for gem exchange and how they're trying to give it to you. But the problem is, I believe you don't need that much option stones. No, 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 hear me out, yeah. So unless you're someone like a whale who is going for the perfect stats, Usually you do not need that many options stones. And the, the game gives you like plenty enough. I have used like, uh, I believe around like uh, 20 option chain stones and I still have 40, 50 left. So it's plenty enough. You, you'll probably use around like five for like your main weapons and about uh, five for your, uh, probably for, um, uh, probably for your uh, equipment as well, max. And from what I'm feeling like, you don't really need it. <laughs> Granted, I don't do the uh, equipment that much. Uh, I mainly focus on doing the weapon, but it's very easy to get a very good range. Probably not the best range, but I believe it's very sufficient, it's very high, that you wouldn't actually want to get the option. And the hammers are another thing. They're kind of a very big trap because if you, if you don't have the weapon you want, then the use of the hammer is, is a lot less. <laughs> You need to get the weapon first before you can even use this hammer. So it's not like you can just use that hammer right there. And so, and even if you're using a hammer, I don't believe the limit break one is that much of a difference. You have to limit break all five for it to actually make a very big difference because that's when you get like a 10% attack increase. So that's like a huge bonus for your characters you're using for PvP, PvE as well, if it's time events. But just for one limit break, I don't believe it's it's that much of an increase for your character's power. And therefore, the, the reward ratio does not compare to, as you can say, a Wonder Myers tickets or um, Wonder of Crystals. Like Wonder of Crystals like, is like one max limit break level or then like half of a max limit repo if you keep on going. It starts from 100 and goes to 120. You're always going to need these heroes crystals. And like you can choose a lot more options about how you're going to use it rather than the uh, um, 
the hammer. Like, if you don't get the weapon you need, then you can't even use a hammer. You're probably going to have to save it for a long time. And over here is also another reason where these just don't really, you don't want these. So that's like a 10% off that could be divided into the other better rewards. And that's what happens for over here. Well, you're, you're like, this is, this is 7%, this is like 7%, uh, 9%, right? You could have hit the legendary stone and instead of getting that hammer, <laughs> you could have hit um, gems instead of getting a hammer. And that, that, that's always better. So that's what I think for um, gotcha. And then there's also the, after the use for the gotcha, you'll be get you'll be able to use the use capsules to also exchange reward. Out of these, probably the most important. I don't I don't have to I don't know if I stress enough, but probably get these stones. I don't know about the low grade stones because low grade stones with comma zone, you probably may have enough. Depends on where you are for in the in the game. But low stones is it like early bottleneck, but later on the bottleneck will transfer to high grade stone. You really need these stones. If you're not paying um, for the uh, here, uh, the awakening stone packet, uh, which is 30 bucks a month, um, or you're paying 300 gems each day to rerun it, these uh, these uh, awakening stones will be your biggest bottleneck. So I, I highly urge you to get these first. And then afterwards, uh, we'll probably be um, the exclusive box and then the um, evolution stones, then maybe the hammer, and they'll get this one. This, this is pretty much useless. You, you'll probably like, like get it when you're summoning for um, weapons. So it's, this is, ends for 20. So you'd rather get 20 evolution stones. That like, takes like so much stamina to farm, about 100 stamina to actually farm this. So it's always okay. And if you want to talk more about what, basically, if you have the character, probably go for the stones of that character. If you don't have it, um, or if you have all of them, the best one would probably go for um, Beth. Um, and then um, Bar uh Bianca, then probably Tinia and probably Ido. I love Ido, but she has literally no use outside of a basic party. A basic party, I think, is probably gonna get destroyed by that. So if you're looking at it right now, you probably might want to skip the Yara matter. Unless you already did some if he's your husband though, then go for him. Otherwise, I believe it might be a good thing to skip because the rewards you can get for something is much greater than just the rewards they're offering this time around. All right. That's from my answers today, and I hope you guys have fun playing Garden Tales. Bye-bye.